Hey, how's it going today? So as Sarah Boone's trial is coming up in about a month because the judge has denied the motion for it continue, we're going to kind of do a, I don't know, let's go into all the Sarah Boone stuff. So we've been going through the interrogations. I think I want to go back and watch the body cam footage with you guys and then also her interrogation footage, like the entirety of it. I think we'll do that for a future live stream. We get to see other people's perspective of what they thought about Sarah Boone's and George's relationship, what they heard, what they seen, how tumultuous it was, especially if you're living nearby, if you're like one of their neighbors. So we're going to watch one of the interviews. Um, again, this was uploaded by Deep Dive True Crime. If you guys want to watch the original video, feel free to check it out. They also upload other interviews, interrogations as well uh, for other cases that I've seen. Today's date is February 27, 2020. The time now is approximately 1748 hours. This is in reference to Orange County case number 20-017904. I'm currently located at 4748 France Lane apartment. France Court? You sure? Uh, that's what I always park up. Yeah, because you can see it on uh, the sign over there on the 4749. France okay, Court. France Court. Yeah, uh, it's weird. For some reason, all of the signs <laughs> are on the opposites are on the wrong side. On the, of the wrong, building. yeah, the so further that's side. That's apartment eight there, and the signs right there on that one. Gotcha. Okay, um, France Court um, apartment. The Tealwood Parks apartment. Um, when I'm speaking with, can you state your name? Uh, it's Brandon Knights. And your data. Brandon. Okay. And you reside at this apartment, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you said that you've been living here since January of 2019? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, on Sunday, which would have been... The 24th? Let's just double check. Sunday was the 23rd. 23rd. Um, were you home uh, that day? Uh, I would have come out, uh, come home a little late that evening, but I would have been here around uh, 8, 9 o'clock. I would have gotten in around 8 or 9 o'clock. PM? Yes. Okay. And, um, did you, so your apartment is right next to apartment number three. Um, do you, oh, does your neighbors? apartment share walls with theirs? Uh, my bedroom shares a uh, wall with their, uh, Oh my God. Can you imagine being their next door neighbor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, I've, I've always lived in apartments. Um, my twenties, early thirties. And I could tell you this, it really sucks when you have a neighbor either above you, left, right below you or down the hall. That's, uh, if they fight a lot, if it's like really loud, they blast music because you're stuck in that lease and you're just like, fuck, I don't know what to do. Um, and then Usually when you report it to the property manager, I mean, there's not really much they can do too, except for just like, hopefully tell the neighbor and the neighbor will be more mindful. But if you have a neighbor that just fights a lot, they going to care what you think. Mm -mm. The lower half of their apartment. The lower half. Okay. Um, do you recall hearing anything coming from apartment three while you were, um, after you had gotten home? Uh, around 10.30 or 11 o'clock, there was a very loud crashing sound where uh, I believe, I'm not sure I haven't been in their apartment like my roommate, but I believe is the location of the, uh, the staircase. Okay, so, so. A little bit above. A very loud, you said crashing sound? Yeah, like it sounded like something had been like falling down the stairs. Because it started up high and then it ended uh, low. Oh, and then people, is this why people thought that Sarah shoved George down the staircase while he was in the suitcase? Because I remember people were theorizing that, and I had no idea where they got that from. It's probably because they listened to this interview, maybe, right? Or maybe, like, um, they were just fighting and, like, one pushed the other person down the staircase, maybe? I don't know. I feel like if you were fighting... No. I feel like if you were fighting and you were in that heightened state, there would be no way that George would voluntarily get into the suitcase. Because I, I do think he did get in. I do think they were just drunk and they were just being silly, and then, like, he got in, and then once he was zipped up, Sarah was like, oh, this is a perfect way for me to get my revenge on you. So I think it's possible that that to me would make more, more sense. They were drunk. They're fucking around. They're having a good time or so George thought. And then, you know, George gets in the suitcase. She zips him up. And then maybe, you know, they started upstairs and then she like. Maybe she pushed him down the staircase with a suitcase as he was in there.
You had a neighbor that would smoke in the restroom. You could smell the cigarette in the air of it. Ooh. I had this one neighbor. Uh, we don't know who it was, though. There's this one neighbor who decided to put out. They had a cigarette. I don't know why there was even inside because it's there because the trash chute is like really deep in inside the um, building. But they were smoking a cigarette. They threw the cigarette down the trash chute. The trash chute caught on fire. It activated the sprinklers in one of the elevators. So the elevator shaft like flooded. And then because of that, we weren't able to use the elevator for for a while. It was it was it, it, and the, the the building was like a 34 story building, I think 34 stories. Yeah. So it was really annoying really fucking annoying uh unfortunately they were not able to catch the person who did it but they couldn't see since there is a document dv maybe she would have had a defense but she had a story about playing hide and go seek yeah you know like because she recorded the video and then she forgot about it because she's an idiot and then her demeanor um on the 911 call like her excuses seeing her in the body cam footage on the interrogations like yeah she's just <laughs> Like when we see Sarah Boone in the courtroom, we're like, okay, she seems like she could be like a smart person. But then sometimes when things come out of her mouth, I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, especially her coming up with the story that they're playing hide and go seek. They're like, yeah, we're playing hide and go seek. And it just didn't make sense. The first video showed the suitcase in correct position. Ah, I think that's what it was. The first video showed the suitcase in the correct position. The second video shows it upside down. Okay, I think, I think that's where people were uh, bringing that up too. It was probably a kid who got busted by their mom. Oh, we don't have a lot of teenagers and kids in our... Yeah, I don't think we really had any. There's no teenagers, no kids living in our building. Like, if there were kids, there were, like, babies. The area we lived in was definitely not a place where you want to <laughs> raise a family. <laughs> I hope we hear more of that on the stand, as if she was, like, scared. Why? I mean, it seems like the abuse was mutual between the two of them. From the police report that we saw... Um, and then like also Sarah and George, I think they're roughly around like the same height, but maybe Sarah was like weight wise, maybe she was like bigger, but I don't know from my, from what I've seen, um, it seems like, you know, there were times where Sarah was arrested or time that George was arrested. And, you know, when law enforcement would show up, it seems like, you know, they both would have injuries and bruises and stuff like that. Okay. And when you heard the, uh, the loud crashing sound, did you hear any voices? Like, could you make out if you heard a male or female's voice? I couldn't hear anything, no. Uh, okay. Is that... Right, because if there's a loud crashing sound, let's say if one of them fell down the stairs, you would hear a scream, right? But you probably wouldn't hear a scream if one person intentionally pushed the other while they're in a suitcase down the staircase. Because maybe if George screamed, maybe it was like really muffled or maybe he couldn't scream because he was so... I would just be, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Discombobulated? Is that the word I'm looking for? Like, I would just be like, what the fuck just happened to me? Because one, you're in a very small enclosed area and then you don't know what's happening. But then all of a sudden you got, boom, you got shoved down the staircase. You probably was just like, the air was probably taking, um, yeah, the air was probably taken out of you. Normal for you to hear noises coming from their apartment? Uh, not loud. But not like, that loud? Not that loud. Okay. But, uh, oh, true. She couldn't be too much bigger. That's right. You're right. You're right. Because um, during that time, she did look pretty, um, like, yeah. She looked like she wasn't, um, like, she doesn't look like how she looks now. She was definitely a lot thinner. You're right. I forgot about that. Okay. Is that normal for you to hear noises coming from their apartment? Uh, not loud. But not like, that loud? Not that loud. Okay. But, uh, I'll regularly like, hear, like, thudding sounds, like, uh, stuff being, like, slammed against the wall or something like that. Okay. Um, have you ever heard voices? Have you ever been determined? I, I've never, I've always kind of, like, tuned out if I was okay. hearing voices. Have you heard something? Yeah. You can, okay. But you have heard loud, loud noises in the past, but not as loud as you had heard on Sunday night. No, it never been that. Though. Like I felt the walls shake. Okay. As the sound happened. And um, do you know either of them? Like, do you know? Uh, I've had a few brief interactions with them. Okay. But I don't. Like, uh, do you I... know who lives there? Like, yes. can you describe who lives there for me? Uh, it is a sort of, I guess, like, middle age. I don't know, uh, like, around 40s uh, blonde woman. Okay. And a uh, Hispanic, I, Hispanic gentleman? I believe so. 
Uh, I haven't interacted with him much. I've spoken to her a few times. You've spoken to her a few times. Okay. Um, anyone else live there? Uh, I believe they have a little boy. <laughs> a little, ch a small child. Okay. Um, okay. When you have seen them around, um, how do they appear to you? Uh, they almost always seem either, like, tired or, like, tweaked out. Tweet though. Yeah. Okay. Um, the conversations you had, or well, the interactions you've had with the female, like, what do you mean interactions? Uh, I remember one night she slept on the back porch of my apartment for some reason. Okay. I don't remember much, but I, I just remember, like, looking at the shade and seeing her, like, lay down. Oh my god, could you imagine looking in your back porch and you see a Sarah Boone sleeping there? I'd be like... <laughs> okay, um, do you recall, like, maybe what month this was? Uh, I, I couldn't say. It was pretty... Of course, he didn't know Sarah Boone, like we know of Sarah Boone back then. So back then, it was probably just like, okay, your neighbor's just drunk, like, what the fuck's going on? Um, I hope she's okay. <laughs> But in today's time, if y'all found Sarah Boone on your back porch right now sleeping there, it'd be pretty scary. Early when I moved in, I would say the summer of 2019. Summer of 2019, okay. Did you wake her? Or? Uh, no, I just... Okay. And by sleeping, um, you guys all have like a cement area, right? Yes. Like a back patio? Yes. But it's not enclosed? No. Um, did, was she in a chair on the ground? No, like or on the ground. On the ground. Okay. Um, I don't have any chairs on our back porch. Okay. Um, any other run-ins with her? Uh, Things you've witnessed with her? I was coming home from class one night. Uh, I would not be able to give you a time period on this. Sure, I don't yeah. remember when it is. Um, and I was waiting on my roommate to get home because I had uh, left my keys in the apartment. Mm -hmm. And I remember I she came over and was talking to me for a minute and... It was very visible that, like, she was talking to me because she didn't want to be in her apartment. Okay. I don't know why, like, I didn't ask, but okay. uh, it was just very evident that she didn't want to be there. Do you remember anything she was saying? Uh, no. Her it demeanor? Was, it was, she seemed, like, skittish, like, nervous. Okay. Um, I don't remember anything we talked about because, in complete honesty, when I was, I was just... Was it just mostly alcohol between the two of them, or was it ever reported that they did drugs or anything like that? I think it was just alcohol, right? It was in one ear and out the other. Right, I yeah, you were just, just kind of... Right. With vague nothing. Okay. Did she appear to be on anything at that uh, point, or just she seemed she nervous? She seemed nervous. Okay. She didn't seem, like, high or anything. She just seemed out of it. Okay. I would put it up, I would chalk it up to be more, like, tired and paranoid or okay. nervous, stuff like that. Okay. Um, and any other interactions with her? Uh, no. Honestly, uh, from the few times I had spoken to her, like, I just, any time I saw her, I kind of just tried to go straight into my apartment. Right. There's a few times where I would walk past and she'd say hi or something, and I was just kind of lie and be like, oh, I'm only going to be here for like 10 minutes. I just got to change and head back to class or something. Like, I try to avoid. Avoid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever witness either of them on their back porch? Uh, no, I don't walk that direction. Okay. Right I don't have any reason to go like that. Like, right. I... You guys don't have any, like, dogs or anything no, that you have I to watch? I don't have any pets. There you go. Um, okay. Uh, any interactions with the Hispanic male? Uh, no. I'm kind of confused why we are... <laughs> why are we stuck on the ex-husband? <laughs> I thought we were going to get into the details or topics about the ex-husband or something. <laughs> Poor ex-husband. He's like, man, why is my face up on here? Not that I can recall. No? Okay. Um... Okay, is there anything else that you think is important for me to know um, about um, them and anything you've heard or witnessed between the two of them? 
it seemed like a, an abusive relationship abusive. just from every 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 time I heard them every time like I saw the two of them it just it it seemed rough okay okay uh it's one of those <laughs> things where like he was he was a bad he was a bad guy he was a bad guy mhm okay um Right. Is there anything else that you think is important for me to know? I know. I think his name is like Brian Boone, right? And Brian Boone is like, man, she kept my last name too, ruining the Boone last name. Uh, nothing I can think of, no. Okay. Um, do you mind raising your right hand for me? Do you promise and swear everything we've talked about has been true and accurate, to the best of your knowledge? Every, everything I've said is true as far as I can recall. Yep, perfect. All right, this ends the recording at... 1757 hours okay so that's it with sarah boone uh, i'm assuming maybe they'll have him to, to go and testify brandon melts i'm trying to remember if i remember seeing him on the witness list have i seen the witnesses before oh. i've seen depositions of they took depositions of the family members sarah boone's family well, at least her ex-husband i'm sure he's on there Next, I want to listen to the... Da, 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 da. I think it's because she's hiding something with her maiden name. What do you think she's hiding? I Honestly, I think what happens is like when people marry, take someone else's last name, and then they divorce, it's too much of a headache to do all the paperwork to change your name back. It, <laughs> I feel like a lot of times people just keep the last name. They're like, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. Too much of a headache. What was her maiden name? Um, I can find it for you. There's this uh, YouTube video that popped up my feed that covered Sarah Boone being on the game show that I reacted to. And then she was able to find the, well, she was able to find another video where it had um, Sarah's maiden name. I forgot what it was. You don't trust Brian? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we should be trusting anyone, you know? Always, always be skeptical. Always be skeptical unless someone proves otherwise. Oh, was it Paulson? Sarah Paulson? Was it? Maybe. Because I remember her last name sounded very, like, she sounded like a harmless person, like, just like a whatever person, you know? Sarah Paulson. Sounds like a sweet, sweet name. <laughs> 